there is a brand new way to heat your home or building and it is one of the largest growing renewable categories in Europe. Today is April 15th and the weather is challenging with lots of wind and rain. Met Office data shows this mainly overcast day at a temperature high of 10 degrees, with the wind chill making it feel like 0 degrees. This home is using next-generation low-carbon solar thermal to run the heating system, and this project is using the thermal electric version of roof panel, which is one of the fastest growing categories. This single panel makes both heat and electricity at the same time maximizing the roof energy footprint per square meter. The home renewable heating system slots into your existing heating system with little disruption regardless of whether you have an oil or gas boiler or heat pump. Even in this weather, the roof panels are generating 65 degrees Celsius free heating. They are feeding the original radiators installed when the home was originally built, with 56 degree heat, and at the same time a 100 liter hot water supply of 72 degrees is protected separately in the top of the cylinder. This is a typical Irish home with a pre-existing oil boiler, but it also has a 4 kilowatt electric boiler as an extra option. This means the heating system can work in hybrid mode, renewable heating backed up by the electric boiler or the original oil boiler when needed. Today, the heating is 100% free from the thermal electric panels. The existing radiators need no modification and the system works with underfloor or any type of heating system. The installation of a low-carbon next-generation solar thermal heating system is straightforward and can easily be added to existing residential or commercial heating systems with little disruption. The buffer tank gets installed between your radiators and existing boiler. The roof panels attach to this forcing this free heat energy into your central heating system when you need it. Looking at the live data for the system we just reviewed, it is currently 26 minutes past 4. The thermal power is 6.2 kW and the COP is 114. And of course the home is toasty warm, and today, that was completely accomplished just using natural daylight. Heat is the single biggest user of energy in our buildings, totaling 80% of all energy consumed, with 64% of all energy just for heating alone. The new EU targets are to triple solar thermal low-carbon heating by 2030 under new plans just passed. The main reason solar thermal low-carbon heating is now a cornerstone of EU action is shown in the annual efficiency data. Next-generation solar thermal heating has an average annual seasonal coefficient of performance SCOP, averaging 60, that's 20 times more efficient than using a heat pump on its own. In addition, solar thermal has the highest efficiency in cold frosty weather, whereas heat pumps are at their lowest efficiency. Jumping back to that live data, but now the time is 20 to 8 at night. We can see the system is still running, albeit it is down to 2.3 kilowatt output, as it will be dark in 40 minutes. COP is still high at 1 is to 42. We can also see all the rooms are nice and warm, even though the outside temperature is only 8 degrees, with a wind chill of 0 degrees. And this was all completed today using daylight at zero cost. 100% carbon-free renewable energy. Let us look at the daily economics. Today, the home consumed 103 kilowatt hours of renewable electricity. Heating was 100% renewable solar heating, saving about 30 euros. Electricity is split typically 50-50 between normal electricity usage and EV charging. Electricity not purchased is 51.58 kilowatt hours, which is a saving of 15 euros an EV charging of 51.58 kWh has a petrol saving of 45 euros, which adds 343 km of range. The total saving was roughly 90 euros with no money spent on energy today. To get a winter view of performance, we are switching dates back to the two-week cold snap at the end of November. Temperatures were about minus 5 at night, and barely went above 0 degrees during the day. One main advantage of next-generation solar thermal heating is that the efficiency increases with the amount of available light, regardless of the outside temperatures. This means that you get the highest performance and the lowest energy bills in cold frosty weather, or possibly none at all. This is the live data for 29th of November at 12, noon. We can see strong performance as this technology is a light harvesting technology. The system is running at 7.0 kilowatt of heat output. The COP is high at 1 is to 129. 
Again, today, this house is being heated solely by the solar thermal system. As it is well below freezing each night, the home may need to top up at night from the electric boiler. As the home also produced 56 kilowatt hours of its own electricity today, and stored it, it could easily run the electric boiler for 21 hours at no cost. Let us look at the daily economics. Today, the home consumed 56 kilowatt hours of renewable electricity. Heating was 100% renewable solar heating, saving about 40 euros. Electricity is split typically 50-50 between normal electricity usage and EV charging. Electricity not purchased is 28 kilowatt hours, which is a saving of 8 euros and 50 cents, and EV charging of 28 kilowatt hours has a petrol saving of 24 euros and 50 cents, which adds 186 kilometers of range. The total saving was roughly 73 euros with no money spent on energy today. Looking at the total savings over the two weeks of this cold snap, all heating, hot water, electricity and EV charging were at zero cost with a saving of 1,022 euros, in contrast to the normal expectation of significantly larger energy bills, from other forms of heating, due to the freezing weather. Next generation solar thermal heating, and specifically the thermal and electric panel variety, is one of the fastest growing low carbon heating markets in Europe. And the thermal power of this next-gen technology should not be underestimated. The growing use of hybrid solar thermal heating is revolutionizing the decarbonization of heating and the running costs associated. With simple retrofitting steps for existing buildings, it's not surprising the speed at which the sector is growing. For more information, click on the QR code or go to the website, select products and then Solar Central Heating.